Hello everyone, my name is Spitfire and welcome to a uh, reaction to DWK's Totally Legit, legit Recaps. Uh, today we're going to do, uh, this is uh, Secret and Ties, Unlikely Bond, and the Mod Couple, which are uh, Season 7, 23-24, and then uh, t Season 8, Episode 3. So all these, uh, Secrets of Pies, good episode. Uh, Unlucky Bond, good episode. The Mod Connection, good episode. These are all great episodes. Uh, I don't have uh, a strong opinion on either of them. They're all good episodes. All great. All good. Nothing to really say except let's actually get into this uh, episode. Let's begin. Okay, so go. Pause. Here we go. Oh, wait. I'm gonna on my end. Hold on. Do yeah, this man, man, and he forgot something. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Great. Well, he does that, I'm gonna do this. Okay. So, Fox, like, you know, Twilight, I love working here and I, I think love both all have our food, issues, man. I think I put on an extra two cupcakes and a marshmallow in the old ass region in the last year, if you know what I mean. And all right. Twice all. Look, I'm not the type of punk Probably who not. gets in a funk about a little junk in a trunk. I just don't want to look like Mrs. Nice Wright when man. I'm 40, you get me? Then stop eating chocolate. It's not chocolate, it's X-Lax. My diet's like 90% <laughs> refined grains and dairy. Great, great. Gross. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're back in Pony Paradise, and Pinky's come to the Bolts HQ to give Dashie your first ever congratulations on making it a whole three weeks without being groped by Fleetfoot in the shower's pie. And she's all, good job on <laughs> nice. not being molested. Eat up. And Rainbow's like, Pinky, first of all, Great. a pie seems like the least appropriate food for that event. I, I figured soft tacos would be worse. And second of all, she got me last week, so the counter's only at eight days, and I can't accept on technicality. Well, I needed to stave off the post-traumatic stress. Why would you throw the pie away instead of just sharing it with the rest of the Wonderbolts? I mean, we know Soren takes his pies extremely fucking seriously and even yeah. if he doesn't want it, I'm sure Fleetfoot could probably use a bite to eat before she goes out for a night of disemboweling hookers in the back alleys of Manhattan or whatever she does on weekends. <laughs> and so, poor <laughs> pathetic Fleetfoot does. coming across her cast-off confection treats her pies in pans as jilted lovers treat their pies between thighs. Gathering evidence as to why her goods are no longer wanted and seeking to catch the offending party in the act of betrayal. Dude, what the fuck is this shit? Look, I'm all for indoctrinating the pony children early and teaching them to worship the glorious astral god empresses, but as a stalwart Luna oh, no. fag, I demand equal representation for my patron princess. Poor Luna. The disparity in the uh, amount of attention she and her sister well. receive is exceeded only by the disparity between but the size of their asses. I remember she was Spanish at her it's like two cantaloupes next to two guitar picks. Anyway, Ponkers what quickly discovers that Play Dash never. has been giving away her pies and gummies. So, hey, man, maybe she just don't like your bacon and she's just trying to not hurt your feelings or something. And Pinky Soul, God damn it, Gummy, do you really expect me to Gummy believe that Dash would construct and maintain a years long charade this elaborate for the sake of someone else's feelings? No, there's got to be something else there's going something on else, man. here. There's something else, man. But what is it? Look, I'm just throwing ideas out here. You don't, you don't gotta get all snippy with me. I'm, I'm sorry, Gummy. I'm just, I'm really emotional right now. It's all right, Pinky. I always got you back. I just don't like seeing you get all stressed out like this. Now it is possible, Gummy, that Dash just generously donates pies to Cheerilee's class, and it is possible yeah, that yeah. she threw out that True. pie the other day on a technicality. But there's only one way to find out. When was the last time Fleetfoot molested Dash in the showers? Was it last Friday or three weeks ago? Whoa, whoa. Don't play coy with me, Spit Roast. This is a private investigation, but I can have the friendship yes. police up in this bitch at the drop of a dime and fuck your shit up. Whoa, look, I'm not trying to hide anything. Fleetfoot rapes us all on a regular basis. Can confirm. But never Dash. <laughs> and why is Fleetfoot. that? Because Dash never uses the showers. 
Also, Pinky's eye looks like a giant zit here, and I want to pop it. A picture's coming together here, oh, no. Gummy, but there's more work to be done, and it may require some subterfuge. Pinky, just talk to your friend and be honest. I don't like what this whole thing's doing to you. I don't like it either, bro. But this could be bigger than my integrity or pride. Man, it's fucking filthy down here. You got all this old food stuck to the walls. I think the mold spores is giving you some kind of psychosis. Ugh, look at the way that custard wobbles and jiggles. Yeah. Even to me, that's fucking obscene. Ugh, who thought this was okay? Ugh. Like a, Gross. So, like Pinky gets rainbow with a pie onslaught, yet Dashy deftly distracts her and ditches, destroys, or otherwise disposes of each one. And Ponker's all, I don't get it, Gummy. I thought it was something about my pies in particular, but I've changed up my recipe a dozen times. I've ordered ingredients from completely different suppliers. I've racked my brain and searched the stars for something I might be doing wrong. And as for fillings, I've tried blueberry, boysenberry, lemon, rank, custard, peach, Banana cream chocolate oh, strawberry. I know me. for a fact that Rainbow doesn't hate all those foods. It's like she's just hate She might, who knows? Pies. You don't know her diet. But I mean, what is a pie, Gummy? What is a pie? I like everything. I like cake, pie. Everything. Doesn't I think it's a different actual reaction. I don't care what it is. As long as it's sweet, pies, potato pies, pies, vegetable pies, and we sure as fuck know Dash doesn't just hate food. So what am I missing here? What is she hiding and what? Separates a pie she just from just a dish full of. Full. She needs washing. The crust is rainbow. What? what are you doing? <laughs> With your. Oh god. And so Pinky's like, I figured it out, Rainbow. I know why you hate pie. You need to wash your cooter. What? It's the crust, Rainbow. To anyone else, it's delicious, flaky pie crust. But to oh you, gosh. it's just a painful reminder of that chapped, yeasty agony between your legs. You have a crusty cunt dashy and you need to take oh a gosh. shower. God damn it, Pinky, my cooch is none of your business. You made it my business, Dashy. You made it my business. Oh so, gosh. Rainbow's like, I'm okay, gonna regret this. And twice all. Well, you have been lying to all of us, actually. And I'm like, you know, Twilight, you are one of my favorite little marshmallow horsies, and I have loved watching your journey from friendless dweeby nerd girl to much beloved Princess Purple Giga Nerd Girl over the past half decade, and I adore yeah. and respect you immensely. That being said, well, shut your now, my fucking guy. face. Why are you trying to make this about you? Anyway, after some hemming and hawing, Bluefast finally knows what she needs to do, and she's Blue like, fast. Pinky, Blue I'm sorry, dude. Horse. I only rejected no. your pie crust because it reminded me of my crusty pie, and I'm sorry I let my terrible hygiene fuck up our friendship like this. And Punk's all, bro, I just don't get it. Why don't you shower more? It takes like 10 minutes. Man, my whole life was always about being the best flyer and getting in the one bolts and I never thought about anything else so I just skipped showers and had swamp ass all Don't the time I thought it didn't Don't matter do that. now here I am all my friends are disappointed in me and I'm you deodorant the, the guy sounds about right but at least you achieved your lifelong goal and you're successful I mean if you were fat socially awkward and unemployed and you didn't shower you that'd be a different the guy. story god damn it dashy just promise you'll start washing your gooch and I'll forgive you are you gonna like check or something I'll have fleet foot check. I guess she would anyway. Oh, no. Now come on you stanky girl. Let's get you cleaned up and I'll make you a nice big cream pie. No. <laughs> right. So, it's another splendid day in Ponyville, and Glimmer's so excited that she's doing her anti-gravity walk again, and she's all, yeah, and then this one time we had so much in common that he left and never talked to me again. And this guy's like, lady, you gotta bring another character with you for this shit. You can't just expose it all over my employees like that. Anyway, the exposition train is summoned, and hey, look, it's Mr. Over 30 and Never Gotten Dirty, and Glimmy's like, It's gonna be so great spending time together. You and me doing the stuff we like. Games, magic, fixing my childhood by proving I'm worthy of your attention. What was that last one? I wasn't listening. <laughs> but what? <laughs> Same old sunburst. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ini macet dulu Gak sakit Tuh deh So they end up in this antique shop where Wizard Boy and Princess Purple strike up a brief but passionate autism romance. Now, you ever had to sit through oh, a no. couple of fucking nerds spurging out over some shit you didn't care about at all? Yes, yeah, happens every day. Actually, that's the wrong question for this audience. We'll you ever been spurging out friends. over some shit with one of your friends and there was another guy hanging out with you who didn't care about any of it and he wanted to blow his brains out the entire time? Well, yes. Glimmy's that guy. <laughs> and dude's like... Have to pretend to like all this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that, that's true, buddy. You but uh, you guy. know, you could just not drag her around and make her look at it, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. But she's like, what? No, I do like it. <laughs> I mean, if you like it, I like it. So they get back to the Friendship Castle playset, and Glimmy's all, Hey, man, it's our favorite Castle game, playset. Dragon Fagin. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember all those long summer afternoons we spent as kids just fucking around and playing this game. You used to go on about being a powerful wizard when you grew up. And I would always say how I didn't care what I did as long as we were still best friends. Those sure were the days, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, Twilight, check out this ancient Ponish Grundle tickler. What? Anyway, it's a little later and dude's unpacking and glamorous like, Geez, son, first I hope you're enjoying fuck? visiting me and spending time together. Fuck yeah, dude, I love spending time with Twilight. I mean, she's like a more developed version of you. So he goes to sleep, but she's oh, like, rise and shine, motherfucker. Cool. It's two in the morning. Who needs sleep when you have this much in cocaine? I mean, common. And he's like, Do you mind turning around or preferably leaving the room so I can get changed? Why can't I see your dick? I saw it all the time when we were kids. Yeah, but this feels pretty weird right. when you're staring straight at me like that. What, so I'm not good enough to see your dick anymore? It's not like that, man. I, you're just really weirding me out right now. Why are you trying to hurt my feelings? Why are you trying to make an issue out of this? Just fuck off and let me change. You show me your dick right now or I'm gonna go in there and find it myself. Is it okay that we're just trespassing on AJ's property and taking her apples? Anyway, Glim Glam's all. Trixie, I don't know if she would care. And Trixie's like, oh, just, you know, not much. What, what's going on with you guys? So we get strike two and the desperate wails of Glimmy's dying inner child cause her to panic and break the seal on the mirror pool in a last ditch effort to impress homeboy here. And she's like, if we yeah. made copies of ourselves, we could get a year's worth of hanging out over in one day. Holy shit, Mod, how'd you get in here? I went in the back way. As long as you're gentle, the caves usually like it. I come here to relax sometimes. Oh, Great. yeah, I guess because it's pretty peaceful in here, huh? Not exactly. You ever have one of those days where the stress of every responsibility and interpersonal problem you have combined with life's random impositions forms a massive pulsing knot of anxiety and rage in your chest that feels like it's either going to crush your heart or explode through your sternum and you can't decide whether you want to choke the life out of the next person you see or just hang yourself? No, I wouldn't know anything about about that. Or if you ever do, that mirror pool is really useful on those days. Just don't throw the bodies back in. I learned that one the hard way. Wraiths are hard to kill. Anyway, right. it's strike three. Wizard Boy talks rocks with Autism Horse and our dejected Glim Glam retreats back to the FCP for cocktail hour. And she's like, Twilight Senpai won't notice me. He's noticing literally everyone except me. Also, Fuck you and your antiques! Christ, man, it isn't even noon. Just deal with your problems like a fucking adult. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days Great. when a mama sang <laughs> us to sleep. Great. <laughs> So Sunburst gets back and Glimmy's like, Hey there, best pal, oh, hope great. you had hey, fun you with Mod. Can you great. sign this in blood? Uh, what? Oh, just cut yourself real quick and sign right here, please. Uh, nothing bad's gonna happen, right? <laughs> Are you kidding? It's gonna, gonna be the die. greatest <laughs> thing ever. So he signs Drop. the pact, the ritual is complete, Something. and he's all, wait, Something. what's this? And she's like, oh, I made the spell no, so we can go back to being kids again. Now we can do the whole thing over and you don't have to abandon me and I won't have to spend the next 20 years hating myself and grow up into an emotionally crippled husband person who has to waste her adult life learning basic lessons about social interaction. It's the 
the perfect plan. So Sunburst just starts screaming and screaming sure. and screaming, and then Glimmy's an adult again, and she's like, wait, what happened to my spell, and why are my friends wearing dragon costumes? And Trixie's like, actually, you're unconscious, and we aren't your friends, we're your inner demons. Your real friends found out what you did, so Twilight reversed your blood spell, and then he had you tranquilized and thrown in the psych ward at Ponyville General. You guys look pretty gay. You're imagining us, so blow me. Anyway, why do you care so much about being friends with that neat man-child piece of shit? Because, like, I'm still tormented by the fact that he abandoned me when we were kids, and I've latched onto this idea that finding something we still have in common will prove I'm good enough to be his friend and alleviate all this lingering self-loathing, and wow, it's really easy to psychoanalyze myself right now. Because we're in your subconscious, retard. Yeah. Man, this guy kickstarted the breakdown that ruined your life as a kid, and now he's making you miserable all over again. Yeah, but he doesn't do it on purpose. Yeah, man, but it still keeps happening. Sometimes in the interest of self-preservation, you gotta put some emotional distance between yourself and someone, no matter how much you care about them. You guys are really helpful for inner demons. Well, you smoke a lot of weed, so we're pretty chilled out. Keep that coming, by the way. Cool. So, it's three days later, and Glimmy's 5150 is over, and she's like, sorry about tricking you into that old blood-packed second childhood thing. And he's like, eh, you know, it's cool. It's about as much choice as we get the first time around, right? And she's like, you know what, Sunburst? I learned something today. I'll always care about you and think of you as a friend, but it's okay if we don't have anything in common. Because you fucking suck. <laughs> Great. Thought you could get rid of me, didn't you? Great. Now I'm just not, too not fucking autistic. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, let's fucking do this. So. It's open mic night at the Cackling Catalyst, Ponyville's favorite comedy club slash dive bar, and Maud's like... What do you call an alicorn with no wings and no horn? Crippled, sorrowful, and above all lonely, for there are so few who can understand just how much he's lost. <laughs> cool. Well, that's episode's ten minutes, a little bit longer than the other ones. Anyway, Ponksol, damn dude, you've really been killing him lately. No, I haven't. You told me to stop, and I did. I keep my promises, Panky. No, <laughs> I mean, you've been telling great jokes. They're funny. You've been making people laugh. We don't need to talk about the other thing. Oh, yeah. I guess I write better jokes when I'm not constantly enveloped in a cocoon of soul-smothering anxiety and loneliness, and that kind of brings me to something I yeah. wanted to talk to you about. Wait, hold on. I think I'm gonna... Jesus fucking Christ, listen to that! No, look, I don't mind Ultra Spaz ass hug Binky as much as a lot of people seem to, but that was a screeching convulsion that was, that, that right was, uh, there. It's like we've got some kind of yeah. Percy character energy quota that has to be filled, and since Mod's so oh, inexpressive, yeah, Pinky just had a grandma screech cool. attack in the middle Here of the go. conversation to restore equilibrium to the show as efficiently as possible. <laughs> Anyway, Paka wakes up the next morning with retrograde amnesia due to her cute shrieking fit, and she can't find Mod, so she trashes yeah. Glimmy's room in a delirious rage, and then, in an even more concerning turn of events, goes cake shopping for Mod's birthday party, seemingly unaware of the fact that she works at a bakery. She gets in it with some dude who people yeah. tell me is supposed to be a pony version of that one guy from that one show who always says... Bazooper or whatever. I, I can't say for <laughs> sure because <laughs> I don't watch it, but it seems like it's me because he's really Bazooper. fucking obnoxious and he's a huge waste of time. So Pop finally finds her sister and she's like, Where you been, dude? Well, I woke up in a hospital this yeah, morning. And right Mod's like, Bazooper. The reason I've been so busy is that I have a boyfriend now. <sighs> and there it is. Just like that, our lovably inscrutable rock horse is taken. You know, it's funny, as I'm recording this, yeah. it's uh, raining real hard outside. Uh, just seems a It was earlier. Now it's cleared up a bit. Uh, 
there's something I want to say to all the mod fags out there. You know, she's not my waifu, but uh, I just want to tell you, I am so, so not sorry. Not mine either. I'm sure you thought I was going to point, laugh, and start throwing the cuck word around, but uh, I know you've already had enough of that. Look, on one hand, you know, Mod's one yeah. of my favorite characters. I loved seeing her in another episode, and I'm glad she's I happy, but on the other, I'm I sorry you guys for, had to take this hit. What means. She's been with us for four years, and I know what some of you must have felt for her and must still feel for her. Yeah, I won't pretend to know what you're going through right now, but I know what yeah. it's like to fear it. Uh, a lot of us do. That's that's the price. That's the anxiety of uh, having a waifu in a show that's still running. And I think those of us whose humanity has not, not anymore, yet been guy. completely consumed and assimilated by this giant, hideous, shoggoth creature of indifference that is the internet can at least offer our sympathies. I, I won't yeah. act like I know what she should do next. Uh, I think you can figure out I've got a few... Um, issues of my own and I know better than a lot of people that uh, first suggestion off of some random prick's head could fix your problem then it wouldn't be a problem in the first place but Not really uh, still if fine. I can offer can you a give me bigger a, suite give me all the advice of Do it. Hit me with it. the saddest part of our love for our wife who's is that they can never actually be with us but that also means that they can never nope. truly not, reject us they could be with us in so other forms please don't do anything crazy like thing. kill yourself or someone else or chop your fucking dick off or something all right because she didn't yeah. do this to you on purpose because she couldn't um because she didn't even know you were there in the first place. Great. That's so exciting! My sister in love! Technically, we're in like... Wait, you're in like... What? Anyway, we're introduced to the BF and Punkers also. How'd you two meet? And dude's all we met at a petrified wood exhibit. What's petrified wood? It's the same as a fossil. Wood that's hardened into rock over millions of years. I hope it doesn't take that long for his wood. Pinky, I swear to God, don't fucking start. Technically, we haven't had intercourse yet. Why, do you have, like, confidence issues? Like, are you too petrified to get wood? God fucking damn it, Pinky. Fuck get out you. of here. So, Pinky needs Fuck some you. advice. And if she was having an issue with Rarity or Nutter Butter or someone else important, I'm sure we'd be talking to her highness, Principal Princess Twiggly Wiggly Sparkle right now. But since her grievance only involves Great. supporting characters, she has to go through Tier 1 Friendship Support first, a.k.a. Guidance Counselor Glim Glam. Yeah, man, Twilight always serves tea and cookies. Yeah, well, Trixie's in rehab, her wagon's impounded, and I got stuck with a case of these and six cartons of menthol, so that's all you get. <laughs> now, why are you blowing this guy off so quick? Quick, Pinky, you're all about friends and shit. My sister's blowing him off. That's the problem. I thought you had three sisters, man. This must have happened before. Nah, man, we all grew up on a farm together out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I left when I was a kid and traveled all over, but they stayed, you know, just three strong young farm girls blossoming into nubile maturity without a single male for miles around suffocating in their collective lonesome hormonal desires. Gods only know what they got up to late at night after a few drinks of Dad's Rock Vodka. <laughs> Jesus, Pinky, you're murdering me here, man. Hey, that's a great idea, dude. Thanks. Rock so, Ponka throws Mudbriar in her Old party rocks. basement. She's about to whack him that's like a here. pinata until he makes his offhand comment about Mod not liking but surprise that, parties. That, so, that she lets him off the hook and goes to confront potatoes. her sister. And she's like, what the potatoes. fuck, dude? You ate surprise parties? Dash ate pie? Water. Why does everybody lie to me? And Mod's like, because, Pinky, giving you even the smallest piece of criticism feels like kicking a Puppy. For all of your outwardly projected joy and exuberance, you're the most fragile, disturbed creature I've ever known, and I'd rather endure a thousand surprise parties than make you sad one time. Look, I know Mudbriar's probably great. kind of a douche if you aren't used to him, but That's just why. this once, even if it means cashing in every favor you owe me, can you just be cool and try to get along with him? You really like him that much, huh? Everything about him makes me happy. Well, too bad! Anyway, Ponka spazzes all the way home to see the sage Ree! advice of her eldest sister, and she's like, Dude, Limey, you gotta help me. I just don't get what Mod sees in this prick. And Limestone's like, Uh, you don't need to. Sis, bruh, 
What are you talking about? He's dating Maud. We need to get along and understand each other and be friends and shit. All right, I got a metaphor for you, Pinky. Think of Maud's boyfriend like this gem right here. Dude, that's not a gem. It's right. just a regular okay. rock. Well, it might look like a regular rock, but all you got to do to find the hidden gem inside is crack it open and go fuck yourself. Do not... Fuck this up right. for Maud. Do you hear me? You know how miserable she's been. And if this guy makes her happy, you fucking put up with it because she's your family. Act like a fucking adult and think about someone else's feelings for once. Hey, I I'm pinky right. by God that damn line. it. All I do is care about other people's feelings. No, all you do is think about the idea of caring about other people's feelings and then use the self-esteem that gives you as a coping mechanism for your own depression. As soon as a situation demands some actual sacrifice from you, look at what you do. You throw a fit and run away. But what if they end up getting married? I'll have to put up with them forever. Yeah, dude, sometimes you just gotta shut your fucking mouth, put on a smile, and put up with some shit forever. That's what sacrifice is. But, uh sucks. You know what fucking sucks? Being a 35-year-old virgin who spends every day of her life moving rocks and watching her parents grow old and right. die while you go off and save the world and Maud gets her cherry pop. That fucking sucks, but I put up with it because that's what the family needs. You get what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, I get it. Also, you're still a virgin. Get out of here before I break your legs. So, Punk goes back to the old PV, tries to be cool with Mud Boy, and when he acts like a tool, she shuts the fuck up. As a compromise, she still throws the big party, but she has Glimmy put a shitload of ketamine in the punch bowl and pull a fake on the addled attendees Great. with a cardboard cut out of Mod while she, her sis, and the BF just chill on a hill. And Piggy's like, you know, Mod, I learned something today. I never really stopped to think about how much my family sacrifices for me or how little I actually give them in return. I'm sorry I made things so hard for you guys, and I'm glad you're yes. happy together. You Thanks, should. Pinky. Technically, shut up, faggot. Yo, I'm sick of getting the shaft, nigga. This shit is blown. Yeah, I'm gonna make me take my penis for a car, too. Pony, fuck you, come for more. Now I'm just owning my bones. Cause you won't let me have a wife who I can keep on my own. I'm going to rod for more. I know I feel it hard. Say, how can I get caught? Right. Locked if I don't have a dick. I'm going to rod for more. Cause I don't want to remember all the pain that you caused me. I'm removing my member. Great. Great. All right, to the outro. Not much to really say here. Um, DWK really does some really great work. Roy really love his stuff. Like I said, this was a again a lot of really fun episodes. We're jumping into season eight, so we're actually getting really close to fucking finishing this and getting it out of the way and done with. But yeah, DWK does like I said, really good work. Love his stuff. Love reacting to it. It's really fun to uh, see what he comes up with during this stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, not much to really say about these. Um, again, fuck you, Fleetfoot. What's he say? He said, like, Brzinger? Brzinget? <laughs> fuck, I forgot already. <laughs> fuck me. Um, Bingzuka. <laughs> Blow your brains out. I don't know what it was, uh, but it was good. <clears throat> Coffin. Uh, but all great. Love. Uh, again, the same thing. Uh, again, I think anyone would freak out if the main six ever found a special sun pony within the actual show. But if you know, but it ever happened, which I don't think it does, the sh you know the show would probably. The thing that would probably fucking implode on itself. But with side characters, you can kind of get away with side characters. But with Mod, she's kind of another IQ like, fandom character. So it's kind of a little bit harder to get away with it. But if it's someone like Background Pony, I'm going to throw this out here. Like, um, probably like someone like Rose, I don't think anyone would fucking care, probably. I don't know. It's weird. But I really like these. Hope you guys did. Uh, see you guys next episode. Fuck you. Fuck off. Bye. Mad tube spaghetti. Oh, there goes spaghetti. Oh, there goes spaghetti. Wow. He's so mad, but he won't give up spaghetti. No, he won't have it. He knows he keeps on forgetting that mom's spaghetti. No, he knows that, but he's broke. He's so stacked that he knows when he goes back to his mom's spaghetti. That's when it's back to the lab again, yo. This old spaghetti. Better go capture.
forget it and hope it don't be